Hi everyone, I'm Laura and I'm studying Biomedical Sciences at University, which is something you can do after school. So I'm doing an industrial placement in the Blackman lab. I'm researching malaria, which is a disease caused by a tiny parasite, which is similar to a germ. So I grow this parasite safely in the lab in order to study them and understand how they cause disease with the aim of finding a treatment. But let's talk a bit more about malaria. In other countries where it is a lot warmer than in here, mosquitoes, a flying insect, sometimes carry this, this parasite, the malaria parasite, and after a mosquito bite, the parasite gets inside us and hides in one of the parts of our blood, the red blood cells. Red blood cells carry oxygen all around our body. The other parts of the blood are the white blood cell, which protect us from disease, platelets, which help our body heal by making a scab that covers cuts, and finally, plasma, which is the liquid where all the other parts, red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets float in. So today, we will become more familiar with all these by making some ourselves. We can use clay, but today we'll focus on using home materials. So let's get started. To make the dough, mix one part of corn flour, two parts of bicarbonate of soda, and one part of water. Cook on medium heat for five to 10 minutes when mixing, and when it looks like mashed potatoes, place it in a bowl and cover with a damp cloth. Once it's cooled down, you can start creating. To make a red blood cell, make a ball and flatten the center. Use a circular tool for this. Then do the same on the other side and tweak it until you're happy with the result. To make a white blood cell, make a ball again and pinch it out across the whole surface to make it spiky. Use a tool for better results. To make a bladelet, separate a small part of the dough and set it aside. Make a ball from the remaining dough, then flatten the edges while rotating it so it looks like a UFO and make some sticks with the dough set aside. To make a malaria parasite, make a ball and pinch one edge like so. Continue doing that while rotating. If your final creation requires a hole, like a key ring, a necklace, or a bracelet like mine. Make sure to do this now. Once finished, wrap the unused dough in clean film. Place it in an airtight container and store it in the fridge for up to a month. Let your pieces dry for up to a couple days depending on your size. Now, you can start thinking about colors. Use paint, nail varnish, or even a marker pen. Just be creative, have fun. Once your pieces are dry, it's time to put it all together. Whether it is gluing them or threading them like me. So here's my blood cell bracelet. You can make so many more things though, like earrings, necklaces, rings, cufflinks. You can also decorate your school stationery. Rulers, scissors, pencil cases, pencils, or something completely different. Be creative. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let us see your amazing creations by sharing them on Instagram, tagging us at Francis Creek Institute, and using the hashtags Discovery Week and Everyone's a Scientist for a chance to win an amazing prize. Have fun!